Hey guys, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis on Server 68. So today I want to talk to you about one of the most important questions I get or one of the questions that come up all the time. I did a video a while ago, like months ago, about the most important decision you'll ever make in Ebony. And it was basically like get in a good alliance. Get in an alliance that rallies and grow. And anyways, one of the questions I continue to get is how do I know when to switch alliances? How do I know my alliance isn't good? What do I do if I'm not being respected in an alliance? That sort of stuff. So I'm here just to kind of give you some sort of clues as to how to know whether it's worth it to change alliances. So if you look at this alliance, the one I'm in now, Neff, truly one of the best PVP and alliances at rallying. All day it's been like this, just green lines nonstop. And if you look around the map, you want to see some other alliances, you'll see lines that barely, you know, other alliances that they're just sending farms out and that's it. And they're not as active. So uh, anyways, let's uh, try and look up here. I think this is an alliance here. You'll see some lines and possibly bubble drops, but it uh, looks like those are some dead keeps. Let's go look at this alliance over here and they're doing all right. So you see there are lines at certain areas and that's how you could kind of tell who is a top alliance on the server and that's who you want to be with. So I'm going to check out this one other alliance. They're usually decently active and let's see. And they got a little bit of action going on. Anyways, you want lines on your rally, on your hive, going to rallies. You're going to grow that way. And there's lots of ways to participate in an alliance. In this alliance, to be honest, I share lots of bosses all day, nonstop. And the reason I do that is because we just have so many people with T14 horses that you don't need every single person setting bosses. So I just try and keep the Alliance chat full of bosses all the time so we can continue to grow. And there's other people who do that too. And that's an important role in an Alliance. Now, this is gonna lead me into one of the other things that's important when choosing an Alliance. Battlefield. Are you getting chosen for Battlefield? Battlefield is excellent to grow in, right? It gives you all sorts of rewards, tactic scrolls, you'll need those later in the game, badges to make your Ares equipment, uh, dragon stones or dragon crystals, you need that, all sorts of different things, right? Nice gems. And you just get to practice and learn how to play. So you have to be selected for that. Now, there are rare times where you could be in such a good alliance. Like if you look at this, these are all Hydra chests just from yesterday and today. That is a huge amount of Hydra chests. So there's there are alliances where, hey, maybe you're not getting selected for Battlefield, but the rallies are so good, it's worth it to stay. And then maybe you'll get selected later. But where I was going with this is, good alliances won't just pick the top 20 people in power for Battlefield. They'll recognize smaller players who are active, share bosses, help out, spot bubble drops in other hives, and they'll reward them with battlefield slots. In my other alliances where I was in leadership, this one I'm not, so this one I just play. I sign up, I put my name out, say I'd like to play battlefield, and I hope to get selected. And in my other alliances where I was in leadership, I would go out of my way to make sure I'm selecting those smaller players who are participating. We have a rotation at the bottom of Battlefield. So you want an alliance that does that. Now, someone asked me, what do I do if I'm not being respected? I'm an R4, I'm making suggestions and they aren't, aren't uh, listening. So it depends on your suggestion. I, I don't know if your suggestions are good. Are you a new player? Are they a veteran? Are, are the rest of the R4s veterans? Or And they know that your ideas historically have not worked in the past or are they just cliquey and they got their own little group of three or four people and they ignore everybody else if that's the case i'd probably consider moving on but i'd uh, maybe ask someone else hey do you think this is a good suggestion and see what other people think and maybe talk to other alliances be like how do you run your alliance kind of see if their opinions drive with yours but other things you should be really looking out for when uh choosing alliance is battlefield times. Is the battlefield equitable for you in your time zone? So for me, 
for a long time, I played with Europeans and people of other uh, time zones, and they were the predominant people. So I would always be kind of the one getting the sh short end of the stick on the times. And I would always end up playing in the middle of the afternoon North American time in on Saturday afternoon. And that's really not good for family time. You know, I'd always be making up excuses to the family of, yeah, you know, I don't really want to go out this afternoon. It's because I got a battlefield at 4 p.m. And that's really just not good. So I'm very happy now the alliance I'm in, our battlefield times are either late at night for North America or early in the morning. So the middle of the day is free. And then the Europeans can join in also at the other times that work out for them. So we rotate it so that people of different time zones can play rather than just having one strict time. And I like that. I think it's fair. Uh, other things you should really be looking out for in an alliance when you're choosing is... Is it the best alliance on the server? Now, early on in the game, there might be two or three who have the same power level, but look for the activity lines. See who's rallying. See who's doing good in SVS. See who has the players at the top. Those are the ones you want to play with. Even if you had differences before, like they attacked you, your bubble was down, don't worry. The, you know Everything will be water under the bridge when you're in the same alliance. Now, you want throne rotation. Right, My current server only has two alliances in throne rotation and occasionally someone else will be allowed to get it if they do well in SVS, that sort of thing. If your alliance is not in throne rotation, my advice is change alliances. And now at this age of the game for me, continent one, five years, most of these alliances, it might not be important for them, but I'm talking about a new server, first year or two, you want throne rotation. And it's not just because you need it for, for getting wonder one or two unlocked. You need it for recruiting new members. If you're not recruiting members, like if you don't have throne rotation, no one without throne, without wonder two is coming to your alliance because it's something they need. So it's a bargaining chip that you need. And if you don't have it, you got to figure out how to get it. Like go into one of the alliances that have it or start negotiating with the, the power alliances and figure out what you can do to get in rotation. And uh, another thing that's very important is location on the map. I'll tell you right now, looking at this map, I will never ever in my life be in an alliance that is not in this area. That's where you need to be. And you could turn on the color on the map here. And basically, in that green area, you do not want to be out in the sandy area where there is no grass. Okay, so that's very important. It's where the bosses are. It's where the resource tiles are. It is the utmost important. I've actually talked about joining other alliances in the past. And one of my things was, you got to move the hive. We, got, we have to be an important alliance and be in an important position on the map. If you don't do that, I'm not joining you. And some said yes, some said no. And that made it easy for me. It dictated where I would go. And I remember on my old server before the merge, these were things I didn't really know. And we were, I think we were down here. We were like right around this lake. And it was okay, but... Now that I look back, it's like, yeah, not the best decision. We should have uh, fought to get a better position on the map. And I don't mean fight anybody. I just mean like, be like, hey guys, I know we're all going to be in close proximity to each other, but we need this too for development or merged with someone. So those are my tips. Anyone else who has tips for new users, because this is who this direct video is directed to on join what alliances to join uh what things to look out for more in particular because it's easy just to say join the best alliance leave those in the comments like subscribe leave a comment